There's no better way to make real food affordable than to grow it yourself. I've tried every method out there after more than 15 years of growing my own food, and this is the way to do it. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to milk jug sow your own vegetable seed. So pick the windiest day of the year, put on your bibs that make you look 20 pounds heavier than you actually are, and let's go get our hands dirty. All right, everybody, to get started, you're gonna need milk jugs, or you can use two liter bottles, those also work. And we're gonna put some holes in the bottom. Then you're gonna need a very sharp knife. So people use a box cutter, just don't hurt yourself with whatever you use. Duct tape, it must be duct tape, you can't use anything else or it won't stick. And a paint pen, you cannot use a Sharpie because it all fades off. Then you're gonna need some vegetable seeds. Today we're gonna to do yellow brandywine tomatoes. And you're gonna need a bucket of water. That's for your potting soil, which I'll show you next. You need a really good potting soil, not a seed starting mix. This is Happy Frog, I special order it. Put it into your wheelbarrow over there and then get ready to start. So we're gonna prep our jugs first. And the first thing we're gonna do is put holes in the bottom. About four holes should be plenty. They don't have to be very big. You can see that I'm just kind of carefully wallowing those around there till I get them in. And those are just for drainage. Those are the only holes you need in your jugs. Please, please, please do not put extras in. Then you're gonna cut your jug open. I start at the handle level. And because my hands are weak, I kind of have to wrestle this thing around in order to get it off there, but you'll do yours a lot easier than I do. I have to fight a lot. <laughs> um, but go all the way around until you come back to the handle and leave a hinge. You don't wanna take the entire lid or the entire top of the, of the milk jug off. You just wanna leave a spot connected so that you can use it to, top, to tip open the top. There you go. Then come over to your soil and we're going to add our water. We want this soil to be almost dripping wet because remember these plants are gonna live in here for six, eight, even 10 weeks. Very, very wet soil to get them kick-started with plenty of moisture is the smartest. So we get that mixed in really well. You can wear gloves if you think you need them or you got fancy fingernails, which I do not. So to fill your jug, you can either scoop it or you can use your hands and put it in that way. I find that I like it better to just lift it and put it in so that I don't have soil all over the outsides of my jugs. You need four to five inches of soil in these jugs. Don't short them because these plants have to live there a long time. They need plenty of nutrition. And then we're gonna do yellow brandywine tomatoes today. Whoops, wind got me. Uh, these are from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds and I really enjoy these. Now, this is a half gallon milk jug. So to this jug, three seeds is plenty. Um, sometimes you get extras that stick to your hands, but three is enough. If you're using a full size gallon jug, I can do five to six plants in those just fine. So covering these up, barely cover them, just barely. Um, a mistake a lot of people make when they're jug sowing is they plant their seeds an inch deep or something like that. Just barely get them under the soil. You'll have much better germination rates. Then take your duct tape and completely wrap the cut area of your jug. You wanna press down on the above and below that, that cut to make sure that you're completely sealed up. We're creating miniature greenhouses here, and if any air can get in, you're gonna lose your greenhouse effect, and your plants won't, either they'll, they'll freeze in the cold, or they just won't come up like they need to. So we want that really well sealed. And use your perfectly manicured hands to label your jug with what you've got in there. Sometimes I like to put the number on there of how many plants, and you're looking for condensation in the jugs. That will happen over time. And then when you line your jugs up, make sure you prop them with something. Um, wild dog, anything like that getting in there, uh, knocking them over will ruin your jugs. And then water them as needed throughout the season. I love this little half gallon sprayer for that, but anything will work. To learn more about milk jug sewing, check out my friend Cheryl Mann. She's the one who taught me just about everything I know, and you can check out her YouTube channel right up here. Thanks guys, I'll see you again